Hello, hello, time for another video session. It's been a while, it's been a couple of weeks now, but uh, I haven't had a lot of time. Now, um, you may or may not remember the previous video which I made. Someone uh, wrote to me, uh, based on my blog, EnglishRightNow.com, and wrote to me, sent me a, a letter for OET. I did a quick analysis and made uh, a video. So uh, this student sent me a second letter, which I'm just about to have a look at now. So uh, as usual, my disclaimer, um, fair, fair usage of teaching. I have no idea where this comes from, the letter, the case notes. All I'm doing is commenting purely on the English part. If anybody has any problems with copyright issues, you can write to me and I'll give you a credit or I'll take it off. Okay, so that's the um, disclaimer part out of the way. So I've got some case notes. I say I have no idea if, if these are real, where they've come uh, from. I can see there's some spelling mistakes in the case notes. Um, medicines, there should be an E there. Advices. Alcoholism, so I don't know if uh, where this is uh, originating uh, <laughs> from at all. No idea. But anyway, this is what we've got to uh, work with. So let's have a quick look at the notes and then we'll have a look at the uh, letter and we'll see. So we're writing a letter to the director of the Care and Cure Agency for Care and Support at Home presumably of the patients. So what we have to do, uh, patients being discharged, uh, steam inhalation, physio, come back to the clinic for general assessment. So let me have a look what's happening here. We're a registered nurse, uh, Miss Miller or Ms. Miller, uh, chronic alcoholic, chain smoker, uh, some trouble with bronchitis, x-ray bronchitis and bronchitis. So uh, apparently they've been in hospital where you are the nurse and she's going home but you want the agency to send someone around and help her out. Okay that seems to be uh, the general score. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's my alarm. I have a, a Zoom session in 10 minutes time uh, for members of my Prepare OET group on Telegram. So there'll be a, a video, another video available on the YouTube in a while. Anyway, back to this. So let me, how I'll put the changes. Okay, okay. First thing, you don't need a full stop or period only if it's an abbreviation, so we don't need that. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Anything else, Miss Miller, Miss... Okay. Now, waiting to refer Miss Miller, who was diagnosed with chronic bronchitis, well, uh, what she's been diagnosed, what she's been treated, hospitalised, uh, who was hospitalised with chronic bronchitis. I mean, diagnosed in itself, what does that mean? She's being discharged today from where? So I would, uh, you know, make it clear, uh, hospitalized. Well, American spelling, a Z. Okay. Who is hospitalized with chronic bronchitis. And now why? We want to avoid these short, simple sentences, right? So you can join these two. Went to Fermi Miller, who was hospitalized with chronic bronchitis. And who? is being discharged today for your care and support and requires your care and support. Now I would have been tempted instead of breaking this um, the sentence up subject object subject object indirect object I would have put uh, I'm writing to request your care and support for etc so I would have probably done it like uh, like that, I think that's better. Just to, so I'm writing to, uh, let me see, request your care and support 
either of or for Miss Miller. So I would have probably done it like that. Okay. Uh, who's being just charged today? Okay, that's what I would have done. Okay, so that's not bad. Now let me just put the changes back on. Okay, on the 13th of the 9th, Miss Miller's admitted to hospital complaint of severe cough. What? So it's either a severe cough or severe coughing and breathing a difficulty. During hospitalization, she was performed. Hmm. Was it? Well, um, can you perform an X ray and not, not as such? I mean, that's not a very good verb. You can, uh, you can have an X ray taken, you know, but I, I don't know if performed will be a, a good verb. During hospitalization, uh, she had uh, oh, well, if it's chest, I can use uh, A instead of M. She had a chest ray, chest x ray, and bron uh, bronchoscopy. It, now, it. Mm. But what if pronoun is better, which showed, because this is in the past, which showed severe bronchitis? Okay. Initially was to support with oxygen inhalation, anti-inflammatory meds, steroids, moreover, uh, commenced, was commenced, it didn't commence itself for five more days as well. Uh, a repeated x-ray has been done, has been done, well, if we know when, we don't need present perfect. Uh, a repeated x-ray was taken. On blah, blah 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 blah, and it shows a better prognosis. Okay, and that phrase is not so um, good, but I'm not rewriting ev every single word here. This is just a quick assessment. So, so I presume this is a social medical history, a paragraph. So why is it here? Why is it it dropped in in the middle? Uh, Miss Miller has a history of appendectomy and is a known case of hypertension, which is controlled. She has been a chronic alcoholism. Well, alcoholism is the condition. The person is an alcoholic. And uh, she has been, or is she still? Well, she's still <laughs> an alcoholic because she's been advised, but she hasn't stopped. And according to the case notes, we have to advise her to quit and stop. So. She hasn't stopped uh, yet, so we can't use that particular particular tense. She is chronic alcoholic and a chain smoker too. Or um, yeah, I'll put an article in front of that. I'm a chain smoker too. So I don't know whether we should put this uh, there or not. Um, you could either put a but I would probably. Uh, where would I put this? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would have put this in paragraph two, yeah, because um, it provides the background for the complaints of coughing, etc. Okay, so I would have been tempted, and I shall do so now. I would have been tempted to, you know, and also have an introductory a phrase regarding her, you know, Sokhmed his his. Sorry, etc. You know what I mean? So you've got some discourse marker, and I would be tempted to put this here. I go to okay, okay, okay. Chain smoker, so we can see where the coughing is coming from. Okay, okay. Um, she is medically stable now. We've got a prone. So there's a name and there's a a, a, a pronoun. Uh, Miss uh, Miller is now medically stable. That's better, I think. Okay. Miss Miller is now medically stable. She's been advised to quit uh, smoking and also um, drinking alcohol because alcoholism is the condition. And also drinking alcohol. She has educated what? She has been educated. Um, it's got to be a passive. Someone has educated her. She didn't uh, 
educate some one else. She has been educated about discharge meds, semen elation, moreover, a physiotherapist. We need an indefinite article. Here's an energy contact Dr. Brown, hot partner, blah, blah, blah. We please accept this case and please provide. Uh, well, um, please accept. I mean, I, I don't think we're going to reject it, really. So I, I don't know if I would use that, that phrase. You can say, in view of the above, and you usually repeat your request. You know, uh, in view of the above, I am requesting your blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's what I would do. So that's not too bad. Not too bad in general. I'll just. Uh, Try and get it all on the screen so you can pause it and see. Okay, so we can see all of it there. So that's not too bad, not too bad at all. Just a few things, some grammar, what shows relative pronouns connecting your sentences, articles, etc. But the, the general gist of the letter is okay. It's mainly the English part, mainly grammar, as we can see. Okay, I hope that helps.